Cannabis companies gunning for a marijuana license in Riverview are taking the competition to the next level. Five vendors have set up tents outside City Hall hoping to get their applications in early and ultimately score approval. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian spoke with the owner of one business who is currently leading the pack and tells us what's next in the process. Kinship Cannabis is the very first dispensary in line outside Riverview City Hall. Now, reps from the company have been staying in this tent for eight days, and tonight will be their last cold night before they finally get their license. To be the first was definitely imperative for us. These are the foot soldiers of Kinship Cannabis Company. Through freezing rain and even snow, they've stayed committed to the cause. When you delivered the news to your guys that they'd be camping in a tent right. in order to secure that license. Right. What was their response? Um, everybody was excited. City officials say they've gotten hundreds of online inquiries, but what really matters is the order of the in-person submissions. The reason being because the ordinance states no cannabis business can be situated closer than 300 feet from each other. That right there kind of explains the people waiting in line because if you're number one, and you turn in your application and number two is 180 feet next to you, that's going to cause a problem. Riverview City Councilman Chuck Norton says the decision to issue licenses has been controversial. We as a group, is, we're just trying to do the best things possible to keep taxes down. Businesses have to meet two important criteria to get their application approved. They have to hold a state license and have a dispensary location picked out beforehand. Because it's basically only the west side of Fort Street because we want a 300 foot buffer towards residential. Cannabis company brand ambassador Andrew Curtis says they've dealt with harassment from residents. Ruby does not need dope here. Okay. You want dope? This altercation taking place on New Year's Eve. Definitely glad it's all going to be over. Tomorrow, it will be time to break down camp. Curtis says they have one mission. There's a lot of people out here that aren't happy um, that, you know, it is what it is. But the best thing and the only thing that we can do is show them that it's not what they think it is. Curtis says if all goes well, they'll be up and running in the old Slip Mahoney's building by summertime. In Riverview, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News. All right.